Hey, welcome, Brian G. Johnson here, coming to you from MarketingEasyStreet.com. And in this particular tutorial, I would like to welcome the buyers of Azon Bestseller. And I wanted to ensure that you understand my six step system that has allowed me to drive so many sales, get so much great result. And uh, results and while I'm really proud of that the thing that I'm most proud of is that I've had such an impact on so many people and they've used this system to be able to publish books that sell like gangbusters to drive traffic and so on now if you haven't picked up the book and you're on my site you can either access the book by clicking this um, uh, the book icon in the sidebar or simply just search for Azon bestseller and access the book at Amazon and again I'll, I'll encourage you to pick it up it's based on about a year and a half of rigorous in, uh, testing and tweaking publishing a lot of different books and that uh, allowed me to develop my six-step system now like I said the book um, I go through lots of information I share lots of examples and I go into depth with the six steps and I wanted to ensure that if you have bought the book that you'd also be able to grab some tutorial videos from me that's what we're watching now to really understand the process now like you uh, you can see here on the screen I've published several number one best-selling books and you know honestly that's great and that's a goal to have a number one best-selling book but more than that is just to be able to drive traffic to be able to convert the traffic and make the money right and I'll tell you the smoothie book has made thousands and thousands of dollars as has my space book they're both number one best-selling books and they're and I was able to achieve those results by following this very system now what separates this book from a lot of books on self-publishing is that this book dives into the marketing and the idea is that you can start with absolutely nothing no list no website you don't have to have hosting you can simply publish a book to Amazon and by understanding how the Amazon algorithm works you can uh, configure and optimize your books to address what Amazon wants to find where buyers are buying Kindle books what kind of niche markets you can again optimize and get great results ultimately we're focused on traffic and we're focused on conversions okay let's go ahead and jump into step number one so you can go ahead and you really understand what we're trying to do we're gonna take a look at consumer demand at Amazon the idea again is that you're gonna make some really good decisions for your book title your book cover how you promote your book everything you can do using the Amazon publishing platform to drive more sales and it starts with understanding where the sales are you don't want to go into a market where there's no sales how are you going to generate sales if consumers aren't excited so we're going to use some key metrics available at Amazon namely Amazon bestsellers rank and we're going to take that rank and we're going to look at the bestsellers rank across categories and that's really a powerful concept because once we understand Amazon bestsellers rank we can then go and take a look at a rough estimated bestseller rank across an individual category and then we can look at which categories are driving the most sales again based on bestsellers rank and that will allow us to make the decisions we're after let me show you what I'm talking about here you can see I'm on Amazon and you're gonna to want to start off by scrolling to um, the departments you're not gonna search right now instead use the ability to browse and you're gonna come down to uh, books here we have Kindle books okay I'm gonna simply scroll to Kindle books right here and now we have a lot of different uh, categories that we can access you see all these different departments and like I said it's very easy for us to get an idea how many books are selling in each of these categories and that will allow us to move forward well how do we do that well let's see if we can go ahead and search for Hannah smoothie book this is one of the books that I personally uh, launched it's made thousands of dollars based on this very system and what we can do is we can simply scroll down and we can take a look here and we can see this information right here and this is basically the the Amazon metrics that we can use to understand what categories are driving sales and what categories are not 
So we're going to go ahead and start off. Um, I'm going to encourage you to search for any kind of potential book topic you're interested in, find a book, and then scroll down until you find product details. Okay. Once you find product details, you want to go into a deep subcategory. So I'm going to go ahead and underneath cookbooks, food and wine, I'm going to click on vegetables and vegetarian. And you can see right now my book is listed at number 28. Now this book is selling well right now. It doesn't have incredibly uh, crazy bestsellers rank, but every day it sells well. When I do promotions, the sales go through the roof. And overall, day after day, it makes money. It's passive. It's easy. That's what we want to do. So now you can see what we're looking at is we have actually the best sellers within this individual category, vegetables and vegetarian. And by identifying um, three books in the top 10, we can get an idea if this is a category that is um, kind of approved to publish to, right? The idea is um, we're trying to knock off categories that don't have enough sales. And all we need to do is find three books in the top 10 of any bestseller. So make sure that you see this. Okay, you see where it says Amazon bestsellers? You want to get to the bestsellers page and do it in an individual category. And then you're going to look at the different books listed in the top 10. And the goal is to find three books in the top 10 that meet some criteria. So here's the criteria we're going to look at. First, I'm going to simply pull up about six books and I'm going to see if this category meets the criteria in just six books instead of 10. If it doesn't, I'll go back and I'll open these as well to see if I can find one more book. So how does it work? Well, here you can see an individual book listing page. And we're going to go ahead. Now, this is priced at 99 cents. So I'm going to avoid this book because I'm primarily looking for books that are priced at $2.99 because books priced between $2.99 and $9.99 allow us to generate and earn a 70% royalty payment. So I'm going to just click out of that right now. And again, this is priced at $0.99. Cents. And this is priced at $9.99, so that's awesome. I'm going to leave that open. This is again priced at $0.99. Cents. And this is priced at $9.48, so I'll leave that book tab open. And this is also, okay, this is kind of interesting. We're going to leave this book open because right now this book is running a countdown deal. And normally, we can see here, the normal list price is $2.99, and right now it's available for $0.99. Cents. Now, I've used this to drive sales, so this book is going to remain eligible. Now, if I click this link here, I can see I'm back to the tab, and I've got three books open, so let's see if these books meet the criteria. Remember, item number one is the book needs to be priced between $2.99 and $9.99 because we want to be able to generate a 70% book royalty. Next, we want to see um, what the Amazon bestsellers rank is and when the book was published. We're not going to take a look at any books that are under 60 days old in the marketplace. And the reason for that is because brand new books are given quite a big boost by Amazon because consumers love brand new books. In fact, consumers love anything that's brand new. And we don't want to base our opinion based on stuff that's brand new because we want to ensure we have longevity with the books we publish and the sales we're able to drive. Now I can see this book was uh, published years ago, so that's fine. And the best sellers rank is 7,500. Now the goal is to identify three books that have been published for at least 60 days that are priced above 299 and have a best sellers rank of below 15,000. So that's one of our books. I'm going to simply hold out one finger. You don't need fancy tools and complicated systems. You just need to understand and prioritize on the basics and you'll crush it in internet marketing if you do that. So one finger's out. We're good to go. This book is priced at 948. It was published about uh, 15, 16, 18 months ago. That's awesome. We're going to scroll down and this book is uh, selling, it's got an Amazon bestsellers rank of 5,728. And again, anything below 15,000 is what we're looking for. The lower your bestsellers rank, the more other books you're outselling and the more books you're selling, right? The lower the rank, 
the more sales. Anything below 15,000, that's our second book. We're good to go. And this is how easy it is to identify profitable categories. Again, here's our last book. This one we're going to include because they're running a, a promotion. They're normally priced at $299, and right now there's a, a little promotion going on. And I'll tell you, we'll talk about these more in a, in a future tutorial. Very powerful. So we'll come down and we'll actually see this book right now is num number 3,000, and that's incredible uh, sales volume. I ran a promotion not too long ago and actually dipped uh, below 3,000, and the sales were amazing day after day. That is how we identify an approved category. And I know that this category is approved, so I'm willing to use this category to base my decision on an overall general topic. Okay, now from here, once we've done that, we need to continue and we need to move forward and we need to find a few more books on one specific subject and we need to look to see what kind of sales rank those books have currently. Now, again, you can see that information right here, right? We want sales and longevity and by identifying the category, that gives us a general theme to think about. A lot of people don't understand, why do you look at the numbers twice, Brian? You look at the numbers once, you mentioned things like 15,000, and now you're saying 50,000. And we're talking about best sellers rank. And the reason is quite simple, because we're trying to narrow it down. Now we've got one category. The category is uh, vegetables and vegetarians, and it meets the criteria in our uh, step number one. And now we need to find a specific subject that we can uh, choose a book around. So let's say I want to create a book based on slow cooker recipes. I might, and it needs to be vegetable or vegan, right? So I'm going to um, search for uh, slow cooker. And I see vet vegetarian. I'm going to do slow cooker and I'm going to search for this. So my idea now is to think about one specific potential book topic, right? Again, we're narrowing it down. We're using the categories to guide us and we're using my six step system to ensure we're not going to move an inch until we've identified an exact topic that will help us get the results what we're after. So what I can do here is I simply want to identify one or two, I'm sorry, two or three books that have a bestsellers rank below 50,000. Because if you can maintain 47,000 week after week, you'll, you'll make hundreds of dollars. That's, that's fine. That's what we're looking for. Okay. Um, so again, the category is below 15,000. And now we're looking at specific topics and we're trying to identify several books that have a bestsellers rank be below 50,000. So again, I'll open up some of these books and I'm paying attention to the prices, right? Let's try a, a, to look at these few right here. And all I need to find is several books that have been, again, available for a while. If they've been published in the last 60 days, they don't meet the criteria and move on. Now, you can dig as deep as you need to. All you need to do is find several books based on the exact kind of keywords you're going to target. So in this case, I would target slow cooker vegetarian or slow cooker vegetables, etc. And I come down and I see, okay, you see that? Look at that. The best sellers rank is 329,000. I can't, that's, that's not a yes. So that book goes away. Fresh from the vegan slow cooker, okay? I, I scroll down and boom, good news. This one is below 40,000. That meets the criteria again. I just need one more book and I can feel confident publishing a book based on the topic of slow cooker and vegetarian, vegan, etc. Now, here we go. This particular book, we'll just scroll down 221,000, no dice. So I will continue. And I'm going to pull up uh, about four or five. And if I can't find any, then I'm going to really kind of, after I go through about 10 to 20 books, and if I can't find two, I'm going to really rethink things. Now, these rules, you can modify them slightly. You might find a book and, uh, you know, maybe the category bestseller average is at 16,000. That's okay. 
you want to, you know, follow your heart and your intuition. But at the same time, if you spend, you know, 30 minutes, this is um, over a million. Terrible. No good. Uh, this one here, 52,000. I'm good to go. I just said it a minute ago. You know, you should be, uh, use your intuition. Don't get held back by something like this. 52,000 is very close. And I found two books now in a matter of probably a minute or two. And let's just see what this one is too. This is 191,000. So still, that's not anything. Let's see if we can find one more um, by looking through, say, the top uh, 20 or so. So I'm going to open up a few of these books. This is actually a number one Indian slow cooker, healthy. That's pretty cool that someone came up with a good concept there. But I don't see vegetarian. So I'm going to just scroll to these and I'm going to see what I see here. 400,000. Forty-nine thousand. That's number three. So I'm good to go. And this is exactly how step one works. The idea is you're funneling it down. You're coming up with ideas. You know, sit down, write out your ideas for a potential book, then go to Amazon and use step one to narrow down your information. Pinpoint a category where there's plenty of sales being generated. Again, just use the simple find three books in the top uh, ten of any bestsellers in the category. They have to be published for at least 60 days and the Amazon bestsellers rank below 15,000. And once you identify a category, narrow it down even further and then you can move on to step two. We'll talk about step two in the next video. Hey, do you like this kind of information? Is this hitting home? Do me a favor, you see these share buttons? I'd really appreciate it if you could give this site a little love. This is real information that has helped lots of people and now you're in line you are in the inside you're hooked up and i'd appreciate if you could kind of spread the word leave me a comment below right if you're uh wondering about some specific information feel free to leave a comment and i will get back to you hey it's brian g johnson from marketing easy street and i'll talk to you soon